Hey, hello and welcome to a super special edition of Rock the Talk. I've got Dr. Nitya Prakash in the house, who's a writer, a banker, a management expert, an investment consultant, a software engineer, a motivational speaker, media man, all rolled into one yard. Dr. Nitya Prakash, how do you juggle all these roles? First, tell us that. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, uh, Nilatri, for having me uh, on your show today. Pleasure so, is one thing that I would tell you is, uh, you know, I've always been a great, great, great fan of Chanakya. So, uh, there is a quote by Chanakya which says, uh, you know, Santushta Dvijanashta Asantushta Eva Parthiv. That means, uh, you know, the moment an individual or a human being becomes satisfied with himself, his life ends, you know, he stops living. So that has been my motto uh, throughout my life. So I love experimenting even with my books, the different genres that I've written, my books, the different types of work that I do. So that has only been the motivation where I want to explore different things because we have got one life. So why waste that life and try and experiment all the things that you can in this one life. So that has been my ultimate motto throughout my life. But before we ask you what you eat for breakfast for such motivation, talk to us about uh, Hope, Hold On Pain. Uh, Hold On Pain. Uh, this is your 13th book. What is it yes. all about, Dr. Nitya Prakash? Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, before I tell you about this book, I have to tell you about how it started. So I started my journey almost, uh, you know, 13 years ago when I wrote my first novel uh, after the demise of my girlfriend in a car accident. And that's how my journey in the field of writing started. And uh, in these 12 books that I've written so far, you know, prior to hope, hold on, pain ends, you know, so the quotes from these books became very, very popular. So if you Google my name, Nitya Prakash quotes, you will be able to find a plethora of my quotes, you know, being quoted by people. And that includes, uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Michelle Obama as well. So she has quoted me as well in the past. Right? Wow, wow. And one of my quotes. And especially I've written few quotes on Women's Day. So you'll find on Women's Day some of my quotes, you know, being quoted by a lot of celebrities. So when I realized that my quotes are getting extremely popular, then I also realized that this is the right time where I can, uh, you know, produce a book of my quotes from my previous book. So this 13th book is nothing but an extraction of my previous books where all my famous quotes are, uh, you know, put in together. So the beauty of this book is you can open any page of the book and uh, you can start reading it from there. So you don't have to go through in a particular sequence. This book is something that you can carry and it has different topics, wide range of topics, uh, be it, uh, you know, uh, the childhood uh, related quotes, then love, uh, you know, I've spoken about family, then the corporate life as well. So different aspects of life I've tried to cover in this book. So that's why the name is, the title is uh, Hope, because I believe that this book acts as a dictionary for those people who really want to experiment something new in their life and a lot of people keep coming back to me and they tell that you know i read one of your quote today and that really inspired me right so any word anything that i've written if it inspires somebody i think my job is done so i'm pretty happy with that dr nitya prakash i've been in uh, radio for the last 26 years and i've been mulling over the fact that i want to write a book now, what is your writing process? How do you, uh, you know, come about writing a book? Is it, does it start from the title? Does it start from the plot? Could, could you give us some tips about what your writing process is all about? Okay, so uh, I want to quote uh, Ruskin Bond. So once I met him, he said that Nitya, writing is very easy. I asked the same question to him. He said, writing is very easy. Nitya, all you have to do is you have to wait till the time few droplets of blood appear on your forehead. So that really, uh, you know, uh, I, I never realized it's going to be that difficult a process. But for me, I just scribble anything that comes in my mind. I never think about writing a book. And when I have some thoughts together, I club them uh, in, in a book and in a format of a book and then the book is produced. Like I'll tell you, uh, one of my books that I've written in the past is the title is Anti-National, right? So I was visiting a friend in the hospital, Medanta Hospital, Gurgaon, and that's when I heard the story of this 18-year-old chap called, uh, you know, Shoram Yangi. When I heard his story, I thought that this is a story that the world should know, right? So that became my inspiration to write that particular book. And there was a small paragraph that I wrote in that hospital itself. And later on, in a span of around eight to nine months, I was out, you know, with that particular book. 
and that small interaction with the parent of that chap inspired me to write a book so it's all about there are few stories which are unheard and uh, a writer becomes a medium uh, to to make sure that the the story is heard by everyone so and and i believe that everyone you know has a story right and they want somebody to help them uh, write that story so god has given me the power uh, to write that story for those people whose stories can't be heard by everyone so i i am i'm fortunate in that sense no no dr nitya prakash uh, talking about inspiration are you inspired by any authors uh, uh, since you've written 13 big books big time uh, big time big time i'm i'm so if if you ask me i think uh, i'm not a writer i'm a reader so my superpower when somebody asks me it's reading i read a lot right when somebody asks me i i don't tell them that i'm a voracious reader i'm a ferocious reader i read like anything i have more than 4000 books in my personal library wow. so you'll always find me with some book or the other and i'm very fortunate that the uh, you know the writer community i'm a part of they keep sending me their autographed books so that makes me feel extremely uh you know uh, happy whenever i read those books so some of my favorite writers if i have to name a few i'm a die hard fan of frederick forsyth right i have read all his works and he thoroughly inspires me in fact uh, the second novel that i wrote was uh, you know is a dedication to his writing style i wrote it in his style of writing and i'm thoroughly inspired by his work in terms of indian writers i'm a big fan of amish tripathi who is a friend as well ashwin sanghi and uh, you know apart from that i also like uh, i i also read a lot of hindi uh, literature so devi prakash uh, is a favorite writer of mine uh, i also like uh, arundhati roy and other writers so you know the list is endless but these are the few ones which i really like now uh, you're also a motivational speaker dr nitya prakash your message to the youth of india today i believe uh, you know the biggest challenge that the youth of india today faces is they don't have patience i think patience is a very important virtue that everyone needs to have uh, and and the biggest reason is you know zomato delivers uh, a food package in a span of 20 minutes right <laughs> and if, if it is 21 minutes you know the 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 youth is utterly annoyed he is not at all ready to accept that they'll reach out to the customer care and they'll you know send across several meals i believe that this has been the most important thing that i have seen while i interact with the people because i'm a career coach as well i keep uh, you know meeting a lot of people i have been impaneled with iit bombay and i keep mentoring these startups as well and the only thing that i've seen is that nobody has patience they want to build up a unicorn absolutely. they want to do excel yeah. in their life absolutely But, in fact dr yeah. prakash uh, i was also having this uh, chat with my son and i said that your generation is so used to instant gratification that if you have to uh, you know uh, book a movie ticket you do it off your phone we used to stand in a line to actually absolutely. book a movie ticket and sometimes the counter would close and we would go back so i uh, i think you've hit the hammer on the nail over here by saying that they have to have patience that's a very good point dr nitya prakash absolutely and i also feel that you know and this kind of thing needs to be instilled when they are pretty young so while i interact with these uh, you know youngsters whenever i get an opportunity and i talk to them the only thing i tell them is you know if if your your internet is work working if your speed is slow you will get irritated right you don't know how to manage without that you don't have that patience so you need to yeah. build that you yeah. need to go through you know they 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 want to read the summary of the book they don't want to go through the entire journey what is there in the book so i believe that somewhere or the other i think we need to start practicing that and the most important way of doing it is i think is uh, the process of learning starts with the process of unlearning so they need to unlearn a lot of things which the technology has taught them right now right, right, right. then only they can go back to that phase where they can you know learn some bit of patience so i think that that's what my uh, you know two cents would be for the current generation the youth well, give it up for dr nitya prakash writer banker management expert investment consultant software engineer motivational speaker media man all rolled into one and that is dr nitya prakash absolute pleasure having this chat with you and uh, continue to motivate uh, india the way you are and looking forward to your 14th book as well great talking to you dr nitya prakash 
thank you so much nilad for the pleasure for the pleasure thank you so much thank you so much thank you